lovely people. God, it's another lovely evening, isn't it? It's now not cold and windy. It's now playing with rain and cold. Honestly, can't get it right, can we? I have just come back from Lidl's, having spent 60 odd quid, and I thought I'd show you what I bought. Um, I've got the receipt somewhere, so hopefully we will come across the receipt as we go along. Right, there is quite a lot to get through. <laughs> so, make yourself a cup of tea. So, what should we start with? Jason asked me to get some rye vitas. Couldn't get any rye vitas. But I got some whole grain rye crisp breads. He's probably not going to like them. But hey ho, I did as asked. I've got some drinking straws because I've got some cans of Coke and I've got this freeway stuff, diet of cola. Heaven knows what it's going to be like. I am a bit of a, um, dare I say it, you know, label girl when it comes to my Coke. Um, so I've got some straws because I don't really like drinking out of the top of a can. And if I put it in a glass, I drink it really quickly. I drink it slower in a in a can. So I'm going to try straw. So I've got straws to go with that. I have got some quark because I'm going to make a um, like a chocolate uh, quarky pudding. And I've got some sunbite. Now this is popcorn. It's not crisps. It's sunbite popcorn for those of you who haven't seen this. You've got the light sea salted, the sweet salty, and you've got the sweet caramel. And you get six in a packet. And they are 59 calories a bag. Not bad. And I also got, because we always have overnight bran every single day. So I have bought these banana wheat bix that people keep going on about. So, I'm hoping you can have two wheat fix per portion. If, I, if I'm wrong, then let me know down below. Comment down below for me, would you please? Thank you. But I'm going to do two. I think it's right. I've got some cottage cheese. I've got two pots of that somewhere. Because I'm going to make some more... Um, uh, 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 what's it called? Crossers quiche. And then I've got some butter beans, because you can never have enough butter beans. And I've got some tuna in um, water, spring water. And some low-fat Greek yoghurt. And, oh, these are for Jace. These are stoats. Four blueberry and honey porridge oat bars. Um, handmade. So... He eats this kind of thing um, when he goes, it's 226 calories a bar, but when he goes on a 40 mile um, bike ride, he needs something for energy. So he takes one of these and then at about 30 miles, um, he will have one of these just to give him a bit of energy to get home on his bike. So that's that bag. Then I've got some... Good old spinach, stick that in amongst your salad and that kind of thing. And if you don't like spinach, you don't really notice it. Radishes to snack on, carrots to chop up and snack on, um, a collie and a broccoli. God, I'm making a right old smashing. <laughs> some plums and some of these large mushrooms. Now I'm going to stuff these with couscous. And I've also got some tofu. So I'm going to marinate some tofu and I'm going to do like a couscous tofu, sweet chilli, um, stacked mushroom. I've got some cooked uh, meat, ham trimmings. These are really good value, really good value. I think it's £1.75, something like that. And they'll be really good to snack on in the fridge, you know, when you're a bit hungry and you're like grazing and you think, oh, no, I have some ham. Graze on that. Uh, I've got some tummy tomatoes and some bananas. And then some little treats. I've got, I've had one packet. I ate them on the way home. I was so hungry. <laughs> 
I got some mini raisin snack packs um, to take to work and put in our drawer at work. Then what I do, I buy this sort of stuff and I put it all in a big Tupperware. I think that's all I've got. And I've got cranberry and raisin. Can you see that? There. I've got um, dried mango and soft prunes. And I mix them all together with a few pecans. And then what I do is put them into a little um, container like this. And then we can snack on those if we're going on car journeys to mum's in Taunton and that kind of thing. Um, it's a good little snacky thing to have. So that's that. Um, I know this is really unnutritional, but I have got some mug shots because they are quick and easy. Um, sometimes they're just handy to have in the cupboard. I've got some whole chia seeds because I put that on our um, breakfast. I put it in salads. I put it in a lot of stuff. They are going to go in my couscous stuffed mushroom, stacked mushrooms. This is some um, wild rocket just to add to some iceberg lettuce to make it a little bit more interesting. And just in case we fancy some bananas and custard one night, um, I've got a no added sugar custard mix. I've got a couple of packets of this buckwheat super seed low fat multigrain cakes by Kalo. Two of those. And they're to go with like homemade soups and things for lunches. And I also got some of these to snack on, which is the Kalo yogurt topped rice cakes. Absolutely love those. They are really, really nice with a coffee or a cup of tea. Got some ice gems, um, just for a real nice treat. These per pack are 100 calories. So five sins for a packet of those. And there's my other cottage cheese to make my crustless quiche. There's my tofu, which I will marinate and do quite, quite spicy um, so that it's got a good taste on it. And I'm also going to put on top of the, so I'm going to do the portobello mushroom, some couscous, the tofu and the sweet pepper. And then I'm going to do some light mozzarella and then pop it under a grill and um, or in the oven and it'll all go nice and oozy so that'll be nice and some pineapple i might even put a bit of fresh pineapple in with that because i quite like pineapple with savory stuff and i got myself some shower gel we're nearly there chaps and chapettes oh gosh last bag oh and there's the receipt and I spent a total of £62.16. pennies. I got some more bran. You can never have enough bran. I got some uh, porridge oats because I use a lot of porridge oats. I used those the other night when I was making some drop scones, chocolate drop scones. They were delicious. So if you fancy looking at my um, video and recipe on those, have a look. Pop over to that. Uh, recipe and have a look because they are really nice to have cold as a breakfast alternative with um, natural yogurt and maybe a drizzled with a bit of honey or a bit of chop shop something like that and you could put some fruits on there like some frozen fruits of the forest got some green tea got some these look really nice some black seedless grapes whenever i see black grapes they've always got bloody great pips in them so these are seedless ones so that's nice a cucumber and a courgette courgette is just going to be grated into salad with a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of pepper just to eat it a little bit and maybe some couple of chili flakes going through it and um, that'll be put into salad and then i've got uh 15 free range eggs to make my crustless quiches etc and i have got three six nine five twenty four bottles of water which we take for work each and good old butchers <laughs> this is kimmy's obviously not ours um so that's it so yeah so Quite a big haul. Um, 
I'm going to put it all away now. Um, there's a few ideas there. Hopefully you'll pick up a few things, like, you know, pop in these sort of things into a uh, Tupperware, uh, making them a nice snack alternative to go to. And it's like doing your carrots, you know, prepping your carrots and putting them in the fridge so that you can just go to them and you can just, you know, if you want a snack, you can have a snack. But if you fancy something really sugary, you know, something like a packet of these, you can get away with. And for quickness, a mugshot is always a good alternative. Um, if you're in a hurry, you know, and you, you haven't got time. Or you've just run out of stuff, you know, it happens. So, yeah, so, I mean, you could make these up yourself. You don't have to buy the little boxes. I quite like them, they're cute. <laughs> I buy them for their cuteness. <laughs> I'd just like to thank everybody for all their best wishes after I cut my poor thumb on that horrible blooming garlic salt. If you're watching my video, um, I am all better. It started bleeding again today, but thankfully it has now finally properly stopped. So there we go. Just be careful when you're opening up spices, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quick, short uh, little haul and um, hopefully you'll join me again next time where I'll be actually making something. I'll probably do the video on the stacked uh, portobello mushrooms because I think people are probably quite interested in that one and I'll catch you again soon. Have a lovely evening and I lost a pound and a half. <laughs> Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> out of my pocket, out of my rump. <laughs> anyway, take care. Love to you all. Bye.